everyone, it's Cindy from HeatPressCraftingHints.com. Today I am going to show you how to get rid of those pesky red lines, that the, the cut lines on Silhouette Studio. When you're trying to make a mock-up, you don't want those lines in it. It just doesn't look professional. Um, I'm also going to show you how to get rid of the blue line underneath any words that may be misspelled. Um, oftentimes you're using a name and it might be um, an original spelling of a name and so the spell check does not recognize it and there's a quick and easy fix for this. So if you like this video, uh, please hop on over to heatpresscraftinghints.com and you can watch, you can, uh, I have a full kind of tutorial on how to create the, the whole mock-up using Silhouette. That's my favorite way of doing things is just using Silhouette because that's what I'm the most used to. Okay, here we are on the screen where I have my <clears throat> mock-up started. Um, I, I usually just hop on over to YouTube and I grab a plain t-shirt of whatever color the customer's wanting um, and I use that in my mock-up. That there are red lines here where my machine would be cutting the vinyl and then there's also this squiggly little blue line here because it's telling me that I spelled this, this name incorrectly. Okay. Um, I know myself that I have spelled the name correctly. That's the way this person spells their name. And so I want to get rid of those because I don't want to send my mock-up that way. There's a super quick, easy fix to both of these things. All we do is come over here to the panels window. I'm going to collect select line color. Come over here to the rainbow and watch as it disappears. I'm going to click this little grid thing right here and all those red lines are going to disappear. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I know why they didn't. <laughs> oh, silly me. Let me get rid of the t-shirt. First I have to select the whole thing and then I click this and they're going to just disappear. Okay, so now we can see how much better that already looks without that. And now just to get rid of the squiggly line, same uh, tab over here, the panels tab. And then this time I'm going to scroll down to where it says spelling. And I need to go to advanced options. And the default is automatic spell checking. Well, we don't want that. So we're going to unclick that and boom, away it goes. That's all there is to it. Again, if you like this video, please go on over. I have lots of other things to share with you on my website, heatpresscraftinghints.com. In fact, I'll tell you all my secrets of how I create a mock-up with Silhouette Studio. Thanks for watching.